Evans don't lie in bed and, and, and dream it. I'm a realist. Um, Steve Evans is certainly know the name that if you polled the Leeds United supporters, they'd say, oh, he's the man. Um, but I wasn't the choice at Rotherham of, of the supporters of the early days. And I wasn't the choice at my previous club to that Crawley. Um, I, everywhere I've gone, I've had to earn the right by results. And, uh, and as a football manager or a head coach, results dictate your future. It was very solid interest on Lewis Cook, but you know, I had a uh, strategy meeting with the president yesterday, and, and Lewis Cook is simply not going anywhere. So, um, so th th there is no more conversations to have about Lewis Cook. As a head coach and a manager, I've always been believer that, that in football that everyone has a price. You know, Cristiano Ronaldo has his price, and Gareth Bale they'll have the prices. Um, you know, but I I listened to the president, and when he said, you know, we're not going to be doing this. But we're not going to be doing it unless someone makes a figure that he thinks this is in the interest of the football club. The one thing that's absolutely amazing, he gets, and I don't ask people to defend him, but he's a lot of owners and chairmen would have been selling these players at 30 odd million quid. They just launch it, let's be as it as it is. You know, there's no, there's no football, and uh, the football becomes if they're two or three up, but uh, it's effective, it wins results, and it's put them in the playoffs. So if this is the benchmark, okay, well, well that's the benchmark. What I'm not going to do is I'm not going to put a list of players together and give them to the president because if I just wanted to write a list of players I'd have Cristiano Ronaldo on it wouldn't it but the chance of getting them would be nil so we can all write lists of players and hand it to people it has to be a realistic list of people that you would that you would foreseeable see coming and joining you I'd love, I've, got, I've got enough Messi players but I ain't got the Messi player that matters and um, so from that point of view we can all write lists and they could be as fantasy as we want them to be Joey Barton is a top top footballer and if I'd been head coach at Leeds United, I wouldn't have been making a phone call. I'd have been sitting at the edge of his drive. And it's difficult when you're playing against, you know, 10 or 11 men who camp in behind the ball. But it's it's how they play. You know, they're getting they're getting results from doing it. I'd rather watch paint dry. Um, but when you win a game, then you you're watching winning when you're watching paint dry. But your uh, your diet. I don't know if you've been training with Chris Wood. Is this, is this true? I think I could run quicker than Chris Wood now. <laughs> no, no. Listen, it's. Um, Trying to get a little bit fitter. I think it's the future. Are you going to put any figures on it? Because it seems quite a transformation we're seeing for you. No, no, listen, it's not finished either. You know, I think it's um, big credit to the fitness team here, big big credit to the nutrition team, um, and uh, you know, it takes strength. But being a football manager takes strength. I was pretty down for a day or two, but thankful to to my bosses at this football club who were on the. The telephone to me is as early as Monday evening coming back and Tuesday and reassuring words and, and toughest, toughest night of my life, yeah. From start from twenty five minutes in to lunchtime the next day, toughest twenty four hours of my life. I was at eighteen hours of my life. Celtic is an iconic football club, but Leeds United is an iconic football club. So my real focus and only focus is representing this famous badge. Um, the supporters to me and my family have been great and uh, thank you to every one of them and uh, I'm so proud to have worked for this football club and I don't want the journey to stop.